Hi all, welcome to my channel on statistical analysis and in this tutorial we are going to look at the correlation. So correlation is the relationship between two or between two or more variables. Uh, there are two types of correlations that we can identify. One is called the positive correlation. That is when one variable is increasing, the other variable is also increasing. And the other correlation that we can identify is a negative correlation. That is when one variable is increasing, the other variable is decreasing. So now we will look at the equation which we can use to identify or find out a numerical value for the correlation. This equation is called the Pearson's coefficient of correlation which is denoted by the simple r. And this equation might look daunting but it's not like that. This is somewhat similar to the standard deviation equation which, uh, which, uh, which you have studied earlier. That is if you look at this part of the equation, this is the exact same thing that you are getting with the standard deviation of x variable and in this part you will get the standard deviation of y variable and in this part you will get the deviations of x and y variables taken together. So if I want to write this equation this r is equal to the deviation of x and y divided by n total number of uh, pairs that we are having minus x bar and y bar are the mean values of x and y and then along with that we have these two components which will give the deviation of x and y values together. So by substituting values to this equation we can find out the coefficient of correlation. The Pearson's coefficient of correlation or the r can only take values ranging from minus 1 to plus 1. So based on the value of r we can interpret different relationships between variables. So let me illustrate that using this diagram. If you look at this one you have in this corner this minus 1 or let's say from minus 0.7 to minus 1 that is the range where you have the strong negative correlation. So as I mentioned earlier, in the strong negative correlation, when one variable is increasing, so you can see that x variable is increasing here, the other variable is decreasing, the y value is decreasing. So this is the scenario which will describe the strong negative correlation where when one variable is increasing, the other variable is decreasing. So if the r value happens to be in this range, then we can say that those two variables are strongly negatively correlated. That means when one is increasing, the other one is always decreasing. And if you look at the middle part of the diagram from that is minus 0 0.1 to plus 0 0.1, that is the no correlation region. That means if the r value falls between some somewhere between here then you can see that those two variables are not related so you can see that this is just a scatter plot you cannot see any relationship between x variable and y variable and if you look at this corner you have plus 0.7 to plus 1.0 that is a strong positive correlation in that you can see that when one variable is increasing the x value is increasing here, the y value is also increasing. So if the r happens to be falling somewhere here, then we can say that the two variables are strongly positively correlated. Therefore, when one value is increasing, the other value is always increasing. And then uh, there is a rough limiting that you can have in this uh, diagram. That means if you have the values from minus 0.4 to minus 0.7, you call it a medium negatively correlation. And minus 1, minus 0.1 to minus 0.4, you call it a weak negative correlation. And from plus 0.1 to plus 0.4, it's a weak positive correlation. And plus 0.4 to plus 0.7, it's a medium positive correlation. So based on the value, R is full. Based on the value, the R where I, and where it is falling in this line, we can interpret what kind of a relationship we are having between the two variables. It can be a strong correlation or it can be a weak correlation. Also, it can be negative or positive. As well as it can be a medium value or a weak value. So you can come up with a lot of answers as to the relationship between two variables by looking at this diagram. Now let's look at an example. Here we have an example we have this rain in millimeters this this is the rain value that is given and we have the harvest in metric tons just a simple simple example and then we have this x y value and we have the x squared value and y squared value and then we have the summation or total of all these values this is the sum of x sum of y sum of x y sum of x squared and sum of y squared now we can substitute these values into the equation and then we can come up with the r value so here this is the equation that we are using. So first of all we have to calculate x bar that is sigma x over n you will get 1225.5 and then you have to calculate y bar that is the mean of the y that is 34.4. Now we can substitute these values into the equation. 
So here you can see that sigma xy is equal to 42,426,800. Uh, 42, we put it here and then we put the x bar value 1225.5 we put the y bar value 34.4 and n is 10 and similarly we put the x squared value and y squared value and once you put all these values into this equation and simplify you will get a r value of plus 0 0.9371 so that means in this example the rain and harvest are strongly positively correlated as we have as you are getting the correlation to be plus 0 0.9371 so that will indicate when the rain is increasing the harvest is always increasing now we will look at the second example in which i am going to use excel to find out this r value so this is the example the traveling time of a student that is given in hours per week and then the gpa of that student so i will use excel in order to find the r value for this example here you can see the excel sheet and in that you can see the first column that is the travel in time and you can see the second column that is the gpa so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the data analysis tool pack of excel in order to find the r value so i'll go to data analysis and then i'm going to select correlation i'll say okay when i say okay i will be getting this window so i can give the input range so input range i'm going to select as uh, traveling time GPA I select it fine and then I can see that I have labels in the first row I'll just put it like that so there are three options of output you can take you can have you can give an output range if you want or you can have a new worksheet as the output or you can have a new workbook as the output so in this case I will just have a new worksheet as the output and I'll say just okay when I, I say okay you can see that this is the answer I'm getting here and you can see that the traveling time and the gpa is here and then this is a minus 0 0.6127 correlation so the r value is a negative 0 0.6127 so if you can remember this this is a medium negative correlation that means we can say there is a somewhat of a relationship between the traveling time and the gpa and which is negative that means if you travel more your gpa is tend to become lesser so that's the kind of interpretation you can get with this r value and uh, that's how you can get the relationship between two variables